saying a girl is fine but her breath is like whoa <laughs> welcome back to my channel beautiful people how you doing how you been i've been on tiktok for a while and i'm loving it okay so yeah today we are going to be making a yamashi a very popular delicacy that i did not get to know about or hear of until i got to the uk so we are going to be making it it's usually yeah very nice Spicy stew sauce, I should say, but you like it, so come along. So, here in London, this is what we usually um, use for it green pepper, you know, the very green one. These ones are not green, but usually they should be just green so that we can have that dark color sauce that we want. But this is what I could get in the market for now. Um, and I know I heard the stew or the sauce originated from Abekuta in uh, the western part of Nigeria. You know, and it's usually very popular. So now we wash and then break it to bits to, for easy blending. And that is water in the blender cup to make it easy for the blending work. Yeah. And then... We're going to start adding the pepper for blending. We're not going to blend it to be very smooth. It's just little bits work in the blender because it's kind of a coarse texture um, sauce. Okay, I think my two sauce on this channel has been <laughs> coarse texture, you know, blending anyway. But that is it. It is what it is, isn't it? So, yes. Other than that, I think in Nigeria, I heard what they use is the other long pimento. They call it shombo. So, yeah. So, this is the second batch. So, you just recycle the water. You know, like you would do for any other, you know, pepper that you do. Um, this sharp, um, sharp or coarse texture blending for. You know, um, that is me trying to press the way, excess water down because I didn't, I was going to be do other stuff so I don't have time to leave it for long so that it can drain by itself. So I had to apply pressure on the pepper so that it, um, the water comes out. And that's everything in the pot. Again, I like I said in my video earlier, <laughs> my other video, I like to use thick bottom pots like wok you know the chinese um, pots it's easier you know this day i just um already actually had boiled and fried my the the mixed meat that's going to go in the sauce on the left is the fried meat and on the right is shaki and that's called the in the, the stripe in the middle is the cow leg which is of course just boiled i did not have to fry that one you know, but in this um, particular sauce, I was going to do just three. If I do more than these three, sometimes I used to usually add um, the lungs and herbs and stuff like of the cow like that. But my children don't like it, so I stopped using it altogether. So this is what I am going to use for this very particular one. Anyway, and yeah, it's going to be nice. So I had to add the cow leg again when the pepper is a little bit boiled just because I feel like it's not soft enough. So that is just me doing that. Otherwise, I shouldn't do this. You know, I just want to make the cow leg a little bit more softer. And that, that water, did not, it was from the pepper, you know. I didn't add any other um, water at all. So this particular one is very watery. That's why it's a very good salad um, <laughs> vegetable. I mean the pepper. It's very nice actually. Very sweet. So yeah, I leave it there to boil. And I'm going to be blending the um, scotch bonnet. This one I'm using vegetable oil, which usually I shouldn't. But because I have to blend and I don't want to use palm oil, you know in my blender and 
I don't want it to be too palm oily, if you know what I mean. I just like to mix it, mix the oil anyway. But usually, if I'm making it for someone, I do use only palm oil. So, and because I don't want the sauce to be too dry, to to be watery, I had to use oil to blend the um chili, pimento, I mean the, the scotch bonnet and onion. So, I blend it not too um fine as well and that is it i pour it straight into the pepper and let everything boil together you know the process is very similar to the one i used i, sh I showed earlier for the red pepper you know and going also with this beautiful sauce is going to be iru which is the locust bean is a nigerian um flavor enhancer and of course on the left was the crayfish so now this is the sauce dried and then i'm going to add the palm oil now it's actually fried you know i added bits of the um pepper at the point that's why the, the palm oil is kind of you see bits of pepper on top of it and that's because i had to strain strain it you know the oil out of um the ex the excess oil i had from a, a particular other sauce that i made actually so yeah that's the vegetable sorry that is the um crayfish and the lucas bean in the sauce and i'm adding the crayfish stock cube i like using the smoked one for all this kind of because of the flavor actually that it gives so yeah, that's it. That's the look of the ayamashe. And now I can add the balance. <laughs> the balance meat. The remaining of the, the other two meats actually. And then I already lower the heat. I reduce the heat at this point. So that I don't overcook the meat to make it too soft. It's only the garlic that is allowed to be too soft anyway. <laughs> Not soft too soft but at least soft enough to eat. You know, and that's I turn it off. Then I added some boiled egg, you know, just to give it that fizzy look. <laughs> and that's the sauce done. You know, pretty much straightforward, simple. And uh, I'm ready to dig in <laughs> with white rice. Usually, I do eat it with white rice, and and saying that's what. We usually use it for here, you know. It's beautiful, it's nice, and it's very yummy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. See you next video. Bye bye.